You just can't stop doing the work. No, growth is an ongoing process. So you, you'll never reach perfection, but you you can always get better. Next next level, and then you're you're sitting at this level for a while, and then something comes up, and oh man, you got to face it. Now you now maybe you're gonna come up here, maybe a little bit more, and you're just gonna keep doing that, and pretty soon you're 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 at a place where people are coming to you for advice on enlightenment and. I've had some people mention to me, they said, oh, you know, your energy seems so bright and you seem, you know, like very wise and all this stuff. And I was like, well, you know, it's not just I didn't just get that way. You know, it's it's a lot of it's work. You know, it's actually it's, it's just like just like you have to, you know, get up and put your shoes on and put your pants on in the morning. You know, it's just as important to do your shadow work, do your mental work, figuring out yourself and what's hidden because one thing I learned is what, you know, what is in the shadow is actually is going to come out in some way <laughs> if we don't actually figure out what it is, yeah. if, we, if we actually don't yeah, uncover it. It's going to affect everything in your life, whether whether it's the sex you like to have, what, you know, how you're going to interact with people. I mean, all kinds of stuff. I mean, like, and, and you won't even think about some of this stuff until you really really look into it like oh wow this goes back to when i was three years old and my mom told me no for the first time right you know or, or, or my dad said wait i can't help you right now you you feel this sense of abandonment and it stuck with you for forever yeah yeah was there any moments that you've had that were like big realizations when it came to shadow work like about you know, different behaviors or stuff that you you've had in relationships is there something that you probably, see? Probably, probably my own reactivity. Really? Yeah. And yeah, where? Like, oh, that's uh, there's a light right there, and it's shining right at it, and mm. I gotta look. At it. Yeah. Um. Yeah. When, whether when it was uh, grabbing my wife, um, mm -hmm. her leaving me, and the heartbreak that I felt, uh, and the things that she did to me were were not they weren't nice. Right. You know to get me to react the way that i did yeah and so i i started recognizing the, the signs of abuse from others before i became reactive and abusive it really helped set boundaries yeah a lot of people would mention things to me about one of my previous relationships it was it got really really toxic and it was just very what's the word i guess like borderline obsessive and so i didn't realize how bad it was until other people were mentioning it and it, it got to the point to where she knew you know sometimes there's people that they they learn your what i call your code they know how to poke push the buttons they you know punch your code in to make you angry or sad or whatever it might be and she figured out my code and man i'll never forget i wanted to put my hands on her and i was like if i if i stay in this relationship something's going to happen you know <laughs> and that's when i argues to spend six days in jail <laughs> you yeah. just spend all kinds of money <laughs> taken from this guy <laughs> yeah so what at what point what point was it where you were like okay now i gotta you know look at this i gotta really you know what i have to actually figure out what's going on here oh man that was probably uh right after she broke my heart and and mm -hmm. left me in the left you know i've been through something similar but uh you know I've, I've been in a couple of situations like that but the last one i feel like that was the one where it really opened my eyes and i was like okay i really you know i gotta figure something out as like for one i'm like something attracted me to you to this person that has these tendencies and that has you know this uh these traits about them and I had to figure out like, well, okay, well, what is it that attracts me to this person in the first place? You know, Cause I could say, oh, you know, she did some crazy things to me. She did some pretty crazy things. And at, it was at this point where she wanted to work it out. And I was like, okay, well, if I work it out, then there's a chance this is gonna happen again. And I could lose it. I could totally lose it and snap. And I, I'm like, I already see where this anger is getting me. So I was like, I should, probably you know I, that's when i finally cut it off and then um got to the point where i'm like okay now what's going on you know i can sit back and i can look back and like oh 
I was attracted to her because she was really obsessive. And I felt there was something in me that felt like, well, if a woman is obsessed with me, then she won't leave me, you know? And so that was something, <laughs> you know, that, so that was, that was like something I had to figure out, like, why, why, why do it? Why am I attracting a woman like this? And it was like, well, there's something in me that fears being left. And that was from a, a previous relationship where, a, you know, a woman did something to me, cheated or whatever, and, uh, or, and, and left. And so I still had that fear of being left, but so, and so I would, I would go after women that were super obsessive. And so that was something that I had to dive into. I had to dive into my shadow and figure out what's going on. Like, why, why do I keep attracting the same type of person? I just feel like it's, it's, it's really important as you dive into your shadow you know, there are going to be some things that you see about yourself that you don't really like, or you might not feel it, it's appeasing or whatever. But as you continue, you kind of have to accept, you kind of have to forgive. Would you say that forgiveness is one of the hardest steps when it comes to illuminating your shadow and, and doing shadow work and learning things about forgiving yourself? Others, forgiving others is a lot easier than forgiving yourself. You still, mm. you, you're going to, you know, guilt. Yeah, and that's self judgment, and I I pretty much live a guilt free life now. You know, that's awesome. Because I I did the best I could do with what I knew at the time. Right, and and see, that's I I like that I like that statement that you just said. You're doing the best you can with what you had, you know, and I think you know that's that's actually a really good first step to to forgiveness because i mean you you're alleviating that fact that it's like hey i only knew what i knew you know you, you could only do you can only do better or worse than what you know can you share some success stories from, like after you after you started to do your work and uh you start to see improvement is there any success stories that you have so the only real success story that I have about doing shadow work, you know, I can tell you about what I learned from doing mine. Mm -hmm. um, otherwise, I have horror stories about where people failed me, like my cousin, you know. Um, but what what I found within me was, you know, a big part of of, of un unlocking your shadows is you'll find parts of yourself that are beneficial and and helpful and positive that yeah. you didn't even know you had. like i i had to go through anger management and, and and all this stuff yeah and i was looking for help before my my relationship imploded i was looking for that help and i couldn't wow. find it wow and that that's kind of what brought me to do what i do now i'm in, i'm done being a carpenter i'm I'm, I'm just out here to help people now. Yeah. And so how did that feel in the moment when, you know, when you didn't really, I guess when you didn't know what was going on, like, was that, was it scary as you're kind of going through this journey? Would, was it cause you're, I don't know, I guess it's like uncharted waters in a way. Yeah, absolutely. Um, do, do I, you know, set myself down with a psychiatrist and, and, and just talk about my feelings or you know is there is there a magic pill or is, right. is there just something i can do that that i can just stop all this nonsense right yeah i think that's what a lot of people look at you know they they try to look in is there an easy way out of this or or is there you know they try to figure out which route and you know i feel like there's not a right or wrong route i guess you know to do it but uh, as long as you do it, you know, and um, because a, a lot of people try to, I think they try to avoid it because they, I mean, it's uncomfortable. <laughs> like, let's be honest about what it is. It's, it's uncomfortable to uncover your shadow and see things about yourself that, you know, you, you've been suppressing or, you know, that you don't, you don't feel that is acceptable to come to the light. A lot of times it's stuff you don't even know that's there. Right. And, until you're asking yourself those questions. And yeah. even after you ask yourself those questions, you still might not know the root of it. Right. Even if you answer and thought about it for a while, and then you you know you shine more light on it, just you got to get a brighter light. When that happens, and you just you're keeping you're uncovering it, and you're still having 
struggles because i know some people will you know some people might have struggles and they might not make as fast progress um as others or sometimes you, they might not be making progress at all it seems well so what would be what would be your advice to them if people are struggling with it oh man uh cry find your emotions and like release and feel it feel it and yeah let it go I, you know that that's true a lot of people don't they don't take the time to feel them they don't t take the time to feel their emotions and their you know what what are you feeling right now i think a lot of people try to numb it you know they'll they'll go to you know alcohol or or they'll get addicted to something you know something they try to uh well, they'll use a, for me it was yeah I, I relapsed you know not too long ago um because of a relationship that i was in and I, wow wow something's going on here right i got stop this and and figure it out yeah so the relationship you know it had to it had to shift somewhere else and when it did she dropped out of my life and went on to another relationship and didn't deal with any of her shit and she wow she ended up uh getting into a relationship where she was uh battered wow and then she had to deal with oh my gosh maybe i should stop doing math it's sad you know that sometimes it comes to that with some people because what i've noticed is i was with one girl um and she she ended up leaving going for some other guy because she tried some tactics with me and it didn't work and so she tried to use a manipulation tactic with another guy and i was like go ahead you know <laughs> And uh, she ends up in a relationship with this guy, and then he ends up being obsessed to the point of where he doesn't let her go anywhere alone, and he would put his hands on her as well. And you know, it was it was like I would mention to her, "There's some stuff that you have to." I'm seeing, like I'm I'm not saying this to be, you know, point fingers to you. I mean, this is just stuff that I'm noticing, you know, and I'm trying to come to you and say, "This is what's going on. This is what I see." But there was just there, there was a lot that she didn't want to acknowledge. And there was stuff that I had to acknowledge about myself as well that, you know, there's always going to be stuff that comes up with both people. But um, I feel like acknowledgement is the, is the first step. And if you don't acknowledge it, how are you going to how are you going to begin with anything? And even if somebody points it out to you, you know, if they if they didn't ask you what's what's wrong with my life. You know, you're offering help that they didn't ask for. They're, they're not going to find the value in it that you're trying to provide for them. Mm. That's that's why that's why coaching costs money. You know, you if you don't if you don't put skin in the game, you're not going to take it to heart. And you you know, so somebody just giving you free information. They're you're not taking it serious. Like <laughs> I, I can find that in the bookstore. You know, <laughs> what other area? Because I know shadow work can help you in relationships like mostly but are there other areas outside of you know just relationships absolutely like you, you you'll start feeling better about yourself you start feeling mm. better about where you work and what you what you're putting out and you know you you're just gonna your your love jug is gonna fill up from the inside you'll have a lot more love for yourself you'll have a lot more compassion for others and when that happens you you reach this point of wow that person's going through some stuff can i help you out and a lot of people yeah yeah i i, I need help yeah and th that's just something that friends do for each other right so if you could reach out to a friend how you doing man it are, are things all right in your life now i think everyone needs that because I, I mean, I know a lot of people that just felt like they didn't have someone to talk to or someone to open up to. And, you know, because I know, I mean, shadow work, I guess, technically is your, you got to do it yourself. But, you know, sometimes you just need, I guess, you know, like a shoulder to lean on or just, just some support. It's a pretty rough journey, you know. And so, you know, trying to do everything and just figure it all out without having people that also understand you or can level with you or kind of understand where you're, what you're doing or what you're going through i feel like it can be kind of a lonely road yeah it's a it's a hermetic kind of kind of a process yeah you know, you 
you go through it alone but it, it helps if you have somebody guiding you through it yeah and there, if, there, if you know somebody that's that's done shadow work or you can go and pick up a, a workbook on shadow work and, and and just do it all on your own i mean I, I encourage anybody just just to you know delve into yourself yeah i actually just got a book uh, i need to finish it but it's called the the shadow work journal i got it from yeah. the from the tiktok store <laughs> i'm gonna start that oh but you said you teach you teach uh shadow work so yeah it's it's actually like one of the first like i might be might be the actually the first lesson that i that i have out there right now um because i have i did i did a lesson on on meditation just a like self mastery yeah and i just kind of put there as kind of a free thing it might not be up there forever but uh shadow work is like my first first lesson i mean this is what you got to start dealing with right now now, right. but you're, you're have a meditation practice so you can you know uh go into meditation and then a contemplation period um and i recommend meditating a little bit every day or at least mindfulness and getting in the present moment yes and there there are two techniques that i that i show people how to do that there's like a, a do nothing meditation where you it's just like bringing you right into the present right now you know yeah and i'll i'll share i'll share a, an easy one um you just you find yourself in your shit and then you know you're about to flip out and then you just go do you hear that and once you once you hear those words i mean your your focus is what's going on in this room do you hear that was there a noise right <laughs> but it, kind of, it brings you to, it like brings you right there yeah, right? right now that's 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 a do nothing meditation one thing i've understood is meditation is powerful and like it's like a muscle i feel like it's like a muscle and I, that's why i feel like you're right we should do it every day because just like we want to you know exercise our muscles and go running for to rest you know uh, work out our heart you know we have to train and and we have to work our minds too and i feel like meditation is, is one of the most powerful ways to focus on your awareness and if you can focus on your awareness that's where everything changes because that's when you can pay attention to your intrusive thoughts and you can pay attention to you know your patterns or when you can catch yourself because the thing is if we're not you know if you're not aware then you're just kind of really on autopilot doing whatever if you think about it yeah uh, yeah another another one is driving um there's something about mm. being in mm. really that 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 helps keep you present yes um especially if you're driving you're, if, if you're the one behind the wheel because i mean you you've got to be alert you can't you have to <laughs> yeah, that's true <laughs> so you i mean you're focused on this thing that thing and what's going on at home yeah and the, the best thing you can do is, is is give up worrying about the future and stop fretting about the past yeah because you, you can't change your one Ooh. i mean you can but you can only do it by being in the present right like being You're here and not not, not, not right <laughs> the roads in front of you not behind you and you can only walk in the spot that you're on do you have any advice for people to start focusing more on the on the future um make plans but don't um don't develop an attachment to any outcomes because mm. plans plans fail plans fall through yes and you know any failure it's just it's just a lesson on what not to do yes that's I, it that's it and that big part of self-forgiveness too mm, that's a big one you said it's harder to forgive yourself than others right mm -hmm. well it's hard yeah <laughs> absolutely Man, well this is it's been a pretty awesome episode and um if if anyone wants to, you know, work with Robert, do you have you have a uh, website or you? So yeah, you can catch me on on Facebook, Robert Dahl. I'm a dude with the, with the puppy in my in my arms, and uh, <laughs> on, I'm on YouTube, Lakes Country Dude. That's my that's my handle on on YouTube. Lakes Country Dude. Uh, I'll have that in here yeah. too. I I don't have a lot of subscribers right now, but you know I'm building up on that, and uh, yeah, there's gonna be more content coming out. That's awesome. Hey. and uh yeah i've got a program and your life over fear you know stop, stop fearing
your life. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. So yeah, um, we got yeah, people are gonna have to check that out. So um after this I'll have you just send me your links um to the Instagram, like the, through DM. And then I can sure. when I make the video and post everything that I can have, you know, everything, all the links and stuff in the description. And I'll put everything on screen too. All right, sounds good. Awesome. You have any last words or any words of encouragement for the viewers or any type of inspiration? Not really. <laughs> <laughs> just, just stay focused on your journey. You know, don't 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 worry about people trying to step into your space and and trying to tell you how to how to do your thing. Yes. You no. Know, if you need guidance and you're seeking guidance, that's that's one thing. But if somebody just comes in and tells you how to be what you what you need to do and it, it doesn't resonate with you you just got to let it go yes and, and try try not try not to get pissed off about it right best you can with what you got what you know keep learning keep learning oh that's important right there well i appreciate you being on i appreciate your time robert and if you want to do another one let me know and you know i'll be glad to help and support you as you're growing too you know on your journey and everyone that's watching make sure you're doing your shadow work make sure you're growing and you know just becoming the best version that you can be and if you guys want any help with you know shadow work and your journey i'll have all that stuff down below for that you can talk with robert and let's go on and continue with our goals we are almost at the end of 2023 yeah, go 2024. <laughs> Man, well, I appreciate you being on and everyone stay elevated. Thanks for having me. Absolutely.